Okay, I thought I'd make this video um, to show you how to properly time up um, a cam belt on an XUD engine because uh, a lot of people get confused the first time they do it. Locking pins are locking pins are all in in the crank, pump, and cam, um, and you basically got to time up from the crank to the pump to the cam, keeping the belt taut along this way, and then obviously the tensioner is on this side to take off the slack take up the slack between the cam, uh, the crank and the cam so I'll show you how it's done wrongly first some people put the belt on the cam first then onto the pump and then they release the tensioner thinking that's going to be fine but the, you've then got slack between this like when they take the tensioner off you're going to have slack here and the crank will just be a, a pin out a uh, tooth out or these two like the pump and the cam will roll forwards and then everything will just be out <clears throat> even though the belt's tight so you've got slack there between the crank and the pump uh, that's just that's just wrong <coughs> the belt needs to come back off then I mean, the way I've always done it is make sure that you get it nice and tight between the crank. Make sure it's on all the, the teeth properly, right, right round the crank, and then get it nice and tight onto the pump, and then hold it nice and tight up to the up to the cam. And then you see I've got the slack between the crank and the cam. Then, and then if I just release. release that tensioner and that should be all correct then I'm pretty confident that if I pull the pins out now spin it over a few times put the pins back in um, everything will be timed up correctly which I'm not going to do Spin it over a few times just to let the belt align to where it's going to sit. Okay, now I'm going to put the, uh, the crank pin back in. You'll hear it. There we go, that's the crank one in. I'm screwing in at least well I'd screw it all the way in but I mean that's clearly gone in several times don't cross thread that so yeah that make sure that, that go in you know at least five or six turns hand tight with, like with your hand if you have to get tools on it then you could be cross threading it and chewing everything up and then pump that one's going in nice and easy as well so yeah that's just uh, hopefully 
useful to some people.